See, that was the moment where I was about to get real pissed. Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel, welcome back. Today I'm reviewing episode 122 of Dragon Ball Super and boy, cell phone, that's a horrible time to interrupt me. What I was about to say is I am pissed because... I'll tell you later, but I'm a little less pissed than I was gonna be. I was gonna be very, very pissed, but I'm not as pissed. So that is one positive thing from this experience. But main thing, this episode was all about the beginning of the final battle, Universe 7, Universe 11. Who will be the strongest in the universe? Who knows? But obviously at this point it looks like it's gonna be Universe 11 because Jiren just is OPAF. Can someone please explain to me, I don't know if I missed the whole explanation, about why Jiren is so powerful and why he's this powerful. I don't do a lot of research into the background of things like this. I just usually watch, well depending, it depends on what the issue is. I just haven't looked much into Jiren. Can someone just explain to me down in the comments? That'd be very, very useful. But anyways, this episode was all about the beginning of the battle and we see that it kind of gets split up into three different fights. We see Seventeen and Gohan against Toppo. We see Frieza against Bunny Ear Dude. I don't actually know what his name is. And then we see Gohan, Goku, and Vegeta against Jiren. And I kind of like that because it's not just like a massive free-for-all, but we do get to see like the different fights and it's kind of cool because something epic will happen with one little fight and then it'll cut to another fight and then you're like, wait, what happened with that fight? So I like how they did that whole issue. But the main thing in this episode is the fight begins, obviously, and we do see Goku first start off against Jiren, just like him going at it. But then my boy Vegeta is like, mm-mm-mm, my turn, and then I need to turn my phone off. One second. But yes, we see Vegeta go at it, and I'm like, yes, my boy, Vegeta. And probably, like, the best moment in this episode was when Vegeta gets punched straight up, like, right in the face, and I was like, Vegeta, come on, you can do it, I got it. I believe in you. Also, I really enjoy how they put the bleachers all into one little section, so we get everyone in the bleachers just kind of sassing each other and having their little quips at each other and I kind of like that and it's kind of cool to see their commentary all kind of squished together and kind of going at each other so I like how they did that but yes we got to see my boy Vegeta go against Jiren and at first he was kind of like failing as I said with the whole punch in the face but then Goku goes against Jiren again and Vegeta seems to kind of understand Jiren's movements and he actually gets a few solid hits and I'm like yes my boy but then he kind of gets blown away again and then you're like oh no and then of course we see Frieza it cuts to Frieza against Bunny Dude and it looked like Frieza was doing good at first but then Bunny Dude got a hold of Frieza's tail just kind of whipped him around and then Gohan and Seventeen are doing okay against Toppo. Gohan tries to come in against him. Doesn't work. That's really the extent to what we see of what's going on with, there, with them. But like the main focus of the episode was obviously Jiren and Vegeta. And we see Vegeta get like this massive power up. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, what's up? And he does like a final flash and is like super powered up. Everyone's freaking out, hits Jiren straight on, but it doesn't do anything. And you're like, okay, sick. What now? It does get him on the ground, but then two seconds later, we see Jiren right up against Vegeta. Bam! Hits him right in the stomach area. And Vegeta's on the ground. And we're like, okay, you know what? See, that was the moment where I was about to get real pissed. I thought Vegeta might get kicked out and I was like, no, no, not allowed. No, because then Gohan will have to step up and who knows if that will ever happen. But yes, the preview for next episode, it talks about Vegeta unlocking a new power. So I have high hopes for that. So we'll see what happens there. But overall, this episode was pretty cool. 
loved it. Obviously there's action every five seconds and of course there's a little bit of a focus on my boy Vegeta as well. <laughs> I just found this so funny throughout the whole episode. There's a lot of like zoom-ins on people and I was just like noticing things like Topo's mustache, yes, Vegeta's hairline. And like obviously I've noticed it before but there's such an emphasis and so many close-ups I was lolling. They all got some fierce eyebrows. Solid episode, but yes, I actually really like this episode. It was a lot going on, a lot of action, nothing that I was like, oh, I'm so bored, I'm done with this. And of course I got to see my boy Vegeta land some hits on Jiren, so it was a good episode. I can't wait for the next episode. That is the end of my review, guys, so if you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys are all amazing, wonderful people, and yes, I make a bunch of videos a week, and bye!